Good morning, Mr. Ahmed. How are you feeling today? Good morning, Dr. Smith. I'm feeling a bit anxious, to be honest. I understand. It's completely normal to feel that way before surgery. Let's talk about everything, and hopefully, I can answer all your questions and ease your worries. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate it. Let's start with a few questions about your current health. Have you been experiencing any pain or discomfort lately? I've had some pain in my abdomen, but it's not too severe. All right, we'll make sure to take care of that. Have you been taking any medication for the pain? Just some over-the-counter painkillers. Good to know. Have you had any issues with eating or drinking? No, my appetite is normal. That's a good sign. Now let's talk about the surgery. You're scheduled for an appendectomy, which means we'll be removing your appendix. Do you know why this is necessary? Yes, because my appendix is inflamed, right? Exactly. It's called appendicitis, and removing the appendix is the best way to prevent any serious complications, like an infection. How long will the surgery take? The surgery usually takes about an hour. You'll be under general anesthesia, so you won't feel anything during the procedure. What happens after the surgery? After the surgery, you'll be moved to a recovery room where our nurses will monitor you until you wake up from the anesthesia. Then, you'll be taken back to your room to rest. How long will I need to stay in the hospital? Most patients stay for one to two days, depending on how quickly they recover. We'll keep an eye on you and make sure everything is healing well before you go home. What kind of care will I need at home? At home, you'll need to rest and avoid any strenuous activities for a couple of weeks. I'll give you detailed instructions and a list of things to avoid. Will I need to take any medication after the surgery? Yes, you'll be prescribed pain medication and possibly antibiotics to prevent infection. Follow the dosage instructions carefully. Are there any risks I should be aware of? Like any surgery, there are some risks, but they are rare. These include infection, bleeding, or complications from anesthesia. We take every precaution to minimize these risks. What should I do if I experience any problems after I go home? If you notice any signs of infection, such as redness, swelling, or fever, contact us immediately. Also, if you experience severe pain that doesn't go away with medication, call us. How long will it take for me to fully recover? Most people feel much better within a week, but complete recovery can take up to a month. Everyone's different, so listen to your body and don't rush things. I understand. Thank you for explaining everything, Dr. Smith. I feel a bit more at ease now. I'm glad to hear that. 
Do you have any other questions or concerns? Actually, I do have a few more questions. What should I expect on the day of the surgery? On the day of the surgery, you'll need to arrive at the hospital a few hours before the procedure. Our team will prepare you, which includes checking your vital signs, inserting in four, and making sure you're comfortable. You'll also meet with the anesthesiologist, who will go over the anesthesia process with you. Will my family be able to see me before the surgery? Yes, your family can stay with you until it's time for you to go to the operating room. After that, they can wait in the designated waiting area, and we'll keep them updated on your progress. That's good to know. What about eating and drinking before the surgery? You'll need to fast, which means no eating or drinking, starting from midnight the night before the surgery. This is important to prevent any complications with the anesthesia. What if I accidentally eat or drink something? If that happens, let us know immediately. We may need to reschedule the surgery to ensure your safety. I'll be careful. After the surgery, what kind of follow-up care will I need? You'll have a follow-up appointment about a week after the surgery to check on your recovery. During this visit, we'll examine your incision site, remove any stitches if necessary, and address any questions or concerns you might have. What can I do to aid my recovery? The best thing you can do is rest and follow our post-operative care instructions. Keep the incision area clean and dry, avoid heavy lifting or strenuous activities, and take your medications as prescribed. Is there anything specific I should watch out for during my recovery? Yes, watch for signs of infection, such as increased redness, swelling, or discharge from the incision site, as well as fever. Also, if you experience persistent pain, nausea, or vomiting, contact us right away. I will. What about my diet after the surgery? Are there any restrictions? You might have a reduced appetite initially, which is normal. Start with light, easy-to-digest foods like soups and crackers, and gradually return to your normal diet as you feel up to it. Stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. That sounds manageable. How can I manage the pain after the surgery? We'll prescribe pain medication to help manage the discomfort. It's important to take it as directed and not to skip doses. If the pain isn't controlled with the medication, let us know so we can adjust your treatment. What if I have trouble sleeping? It's common to have some trouble sleeping after surgery. Try to rest during the day if you can, and create a comfortable sleep environment. Avoid caffeine and use relaxation techniques like deep breathing to help you fall asleep. I'll try that. How soon can I return to work or normal activities? This depends on the type of work you do and how you're feeling. For most people, light activities can be resumed in a few days, but it may take a couple of weeks before you can return to more strenuous activities or work. We'll discuss this in more detail at your follow-up appointment. That makes sense. Is there anything else I should know? 
Just remember to listen to your body and take things slow. Don't push yourself too hard and don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. We're here to support you through your recovery. Thank you, Dr. Smith. You've been very helpful. You're welcome, Mr. Ahmed. I'll check in with you again before the surgery. In the meantime, try to relax and get some rest. I will. Thank you again, doctor. You're welcome, Mr. Ahmed. I'll check in with you again before the surgery. In the meantime, try to relax and get some rest. I will. Thank you again, doctor. Take care, Mr. Ahmed. See you soon. See you, Dr. Smith.